Because it's on backwards. <laughs> That's why it feels weird. <laughs> Wrong hand. Wrong hand. This is for your left hand. There you go. What's up you hooligans out there in YouTube land on another ride with the wife we're in Cayucas we were gonna go a little bit further I guess we still could but I forgot extra batteries for the GoPro so we just made this a short little ride to Cayucas and back home see if we can make it before the battery dies so this is Cayucas it's our favorite restaurant off here to the left, Schooners. Good, good food, good drinks. Never had oceanfront pizza. Uh, so it is Saturday, February 13th, 2021. Probably about 1.45, I believe. I'm totally guessing. I'm just trying to remember what time I left and about how long we've been on the road there's the rock out there so we went to cycle gear today to get Corey some Valentine day items so we ended up getting Corey some riding gear since she wants to go riding with me more picked her up quite a few things now she's got I guess I would say all the the essentials for for riding at least some protective uh, gear some uh, jacket pants gloves and boots so we'll start off Corey got a is this for how far is this person gonna back up here <laughs> oh let's turn right in front of the motorhome yeah that that will work because he could stop fast <laughs> all right so we got our jacket nice uh, it was like, what do they call it, mesh or whatever. Uh, it's supposed to be like rain resistant or nice breathable kind of all weather jacket. Black and white, I don't know if you can see her behind me. Ah, I've been down far enough. It's a sediche, at least that's how the guy at Cycle Gear pronounced it. So I guess that's saying it right, sediche. Got our nice sediche jacket. It's got armor in the elbows, the shoulders and the back as well as you know uh, whatever that material is they use for it's supposed to protect you if you slide and then we picked her up a nice pair of riding jeans they're uh, street and steel women's oakland riding jeans same thing you know the material that uh they call it slide resistant or something that says on the tag um it's uh, got some uh, CE armor in the knee pads. I think that was about the only armor it had in the jeans. I have this similar jeans, street and steel. I think all they have is knee pads in them. But I watched a guy on YouTube one time uh, do a, a test on the uh, street and steel versus Levi's versus like a race suit where he applied a certain amount of pressure and was grinding them kind of simulating a slide on the road and the street and steel did really good a lot better than just the regular little Levi's so we got her some jeans and a jacket and we also got her her own gloves she was just wearing some of mine that were a little too big but we got her a pair of ceviche gloves they got armor in the knuckles on the back side which is nice and then it got her some boots now I cannot remember the name of the boots. Let's see if I can see it. Uh, Alpine Star, it looks like it says. Is that a brand? So they got her some nice uh, riding boots. So she's got some protective gear now, which should, uh, I'll put some, uh, either take a turn around and get off the camera and take a, or get off the camera, get off the bike and have a video of 
what she looks like with the gear on now or maybe I'll just post some pictures in here um, but she says she really loves the stuff it all feels really comfortable she says she loves the jacket after uh, riding she just had like a jean jacket on yesterday when we went for a ride and she was pretty chilly she said but she says this jacket's nice it's super comfortable it's keeping her warm now the only thing she's wearing uh, that we've had for quite a while is her helmet is it's pretty old. We should probably replace it pretty soon. It's a built, cheapy built helmet. So we're there and we weren't going to get a helmet today if I just told her to look at it and to, to see what she thought. And of course, guess which helmet she picks out that she just loves? One of the Arai helmets. One of the $850 Arai helmets. I don't even have a helmet that nice. I think I mentioned once, uh, maybe in a recent video, I was at a, one of those mom and pop shops in Fresno and they had an Arai helmet for like 200 bucks. It was like 75% off, but it was like a size too small. But I thought, oh, I can deal with it to have that nice helmet. Well, after a month or so, it was killing me. So I ended up turning around and selling it on eBay. It was like literally cutting off, digging on a gouge in my head. But uh, of course she wanted, she likes the Arai helmet. So I'll try to get her to look at some of the bells. That's a step up from built, right? A small step up. <laughs> um, the only problem I have about spending a lot of money is on, on helmets is you're supposed to replace a helmet, I believe, every five years. Now, man, that's a lot of money to spend every five years. If, if the helmets lasted a long time, and you know you could wear them for 10, 15 years. Sure, I'd spend eight, nine hundred dollars on a helmet. I guess it's not that bad. That's like what, a little under two hundred a year if you utilize it for five years. So, happy Valentine's Day, Corey. <laughs> I also got her a, a Labradoodle T-shirt and a Labradoodle coffee mug. She loves her Labradoodle. It's funny. The la the shirt I got her. The Labradoodle on this t-shirt looks exactly like our Labradoodle. She's like, I could have, she said I could have told her that uh, I had a, I sent him in a picture of Biscuit and that's actually him on the shirt. It looks so much like him. So now though, now today, she, when I was just kind of talking about learning how to ride, she said, uh, maybe. So hey, we're getting a little closer before was absolutely no way not going to do it to, to a maybe so I'll take it maybe she, she'll be interested in learning how to ride now I don't think I'm that great of an instructor so I would probably pony up the money and send her to a motorcycle rider safety course for beginners um, I know Matthews Harley Davidson in Fresno has a really nice one they supply the bikes uh, you know they got all the crash bars set up on them for teaching newbies how to ride so if if we can convince her to want to learn how to ride, I think we'll sign her up for that. And uh, I would say maybe I would take it to you just to take it with her. But man, that's an expensive, I want to say it's 500, 800. It's an expensive course. Um, I told her though, the plus side about taking one of those courses versus like just learning how to ride and go and getting your license is they give you a certificate so you can bypass the skills test. I just did the skills test on my Harley. So I was too cheap at the time to pay for the the cord. Anyways, I got way off topic. <laughs> Anyways, Corey said maybe. So see if I can keep that interest sparked and fan a little bit, maybe get a little flame going and get her into a motorcycle safety riding course. And then, like I said, we got the Sportster, so perfect, perfect bike for her to uh, to start on. It's an 883, and it's the low model, so it's closer to the ground. I'll have her sit on it when we get back home and see if her feet, if she can flat foot it on the Sportster. So I don't know if my battery is going to last till we get home. I looked up online; it said the seven on the resolution I'm doing should last like 80 minutes, but it. There's hardly any. There's like a little tiny, tiny chunk of battery left on there. Oh, 
Well, it's, it ended up not raining. We got sprinkled on a little bit on the way over. Um, pretty nice though, I believe. It feels like it's probably mid 60s right now. I think it was only gonna get to like 64 today in Atascadero. I think it was a little bit warm, supposed to be a little warmer over in Cayuca Samora Bay. We interrupt this program for an on-the-spot news report. Oh my God! You've got mail. You bastard! All right, what's up, YouTube? We're going to do our first mail call. I had Paul from, I think he lives in uh, Cayucas. Okay, the package says Kentucky, but that's because he shipped it from Amazon. Um, but this is from Paul. Uh, I met Paul on Facebook probably a few months back. He had some questions on foot pegs, and then he ended up having an oil leak. Um, so he brought his bike over here, and we replaced the gasket on the primary inspection. Um, the chain primary the primary chain inspection hole little ga oval gasket that's there so he brought that over here here about a month ago and we replaced the gasket and got the leak fixed and then uh sent me a, a thank you item here so we'll go ahead and this is our, my first official i guess mail call my p.o box is listed on my youtube page Let's see what we got here All right, sounds like a guardian bell. Nice. Awesome. Cool. That is a <laughs> that is a super cool guardian bell. I don't know if you can get a little closer and check that out. Kind of looks like me with the uh, bandana on. <laughs> That's super cool. So thank you, Paul. Greatly appreciated. That's awesome. I'll definitely be putting this on one of the bikes here. All right, that was our first mail call. I'm gonna work on getting a logo made and uh, get some stickers made so I can uh, trade stickers and, and send them out if people want. Um, if anybody's got any ideas or suggestions on logos, let me know. All right, catch you later, YouTube. Peace. All right, YouTube. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna say adios before uh, my battery dies and it just cuts out on us. So all you hooligans out there, ride like everyone's a hired assassin trying to kill you, ride safe, peace.